The UNI Panthers coming off another Missouri Valley Football Conference win this past Saturday. Topped South Dakota 42-27. And coach, uh, your defense played just as fantastic as your offense. The defense came up with six turnovers in the football game. They were hungry for that football. Well, they were. After, after we settled in, uh, found out what their plan was, and the players just settled in and played our defense, they were breaking on the ball well. Their vision was good. And, uh, you know, I, th I, th I thought they played a very good football game. Three interceptions for your defense in the football game. The first one, a pick six from Austin Evans, able to step in front of the pass and an uh, easy step into the end zone for him. Well, that may be probably the biggest intercept of the day was his that turned into an intercept because it came at the heels of us getting a, they had a muff punt that we did not score on. And that's kind of a letdown, but then we came right back in the next series and two plays later, he picks that off for a touchdown. And that was the first score of the second quarter, tied the game at 21. Uh, and you're right, that was a huge play. How complete of a game did Evans play? Six tackles, a tackle for a loss as well with that pick six. He's gotten better each week playing that, what we call our nickel position. I mean, he had to learn that position. He's a corner. Uh, he's given us a lot of latitude to do some things, but he's getting more physical there. He's understanding how the breaks work, and he's already had two picks, but this one in particular really helped us in this game. And Christian Jagan and Roosevelt Lawrence both uh, able to snag their first interception of the season. And uh, Coach, your secondary was doing it against one of the top passers in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. Well, we spoke of him last week. He was he was that good. He was as good as expected walking in the door. He ran well. He threw well. And uh, but our you know we responded. He, he had some things going on that he started out hot. But in the end, I thought what what our entire defense did over the course of the game was what made the difference. A lot of different guys coming up with tackles. We mentioned uh, Jagan with an interception. He had uh, double digit tackles as well. But uh, Chris Kalerovic back at that middle linebacker position, 19 tackles for him. He was named Missouri Valley Football Conference Defensive Player of the Week. He was all over the football field. Well, he was. He did a nice job. It's nice to have him back. It'll take a couple days to get him back again. But uh, you know, he still comes back from that foot injury. There's still he doesn't come back quite as fast, but it's always nice when you have him on Saturday. We've got a story coming up on Chris Kalerovic. Uh, he likes to point to the uh, the front four of the defense. Uh, Brinkman, a couple of sacks. You had a number of different guys. Ellerson Smith getting back there again, uh, getting their hands on the quarterback and bringing him down. Yeah, if I chose a player of the game on defense, I would have chosen uh, Jared Brinkman only because of what that nose is expected to do to make this defense go. And on top of that, he had two quarterback sacks. Splitting some double teams when he's out there as well. We'll have more with Coach Farley on this coming matchup against Missouri State. Right now, here's a look at linebacker Chris Kalerovic. 